Hi, this is Kyle Lee, Senior Construction Solutions Specialist here at ATG USA, and we're back for another technical talk video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about new functionality that's just been incorporated with the bridge feature that you can find inside of the Autodesk Construction Cloud Unified platform. Um, and you may have seen the bridge feature uh, listed in either docs or within build on your uh, Construction Cloud Unified platform projects, depending on which modules you might be using. Um, I have done a couple of other technical talk videos discussing Bridge um, because as it's rolled out, there have been new developments um, that have been incorporated. And, and every single time one of those new developments has been released, they've been so impactful that I felt that it was necessary to, to get that word out and share that information. And um, we, we've had somewhat of a similar situation present itself within the past couple of weeks. Um, so in previous technical talk videos uh, about Bridge, We've talked about being able to share uh, sheets or construction documents from the Autodesk build module uh, across uh, or into another project where you have build activated. Um, maybe it's on a, a project that's being created on your site, um, but you're not the hosting firm for the primary project. But being able to copy those construction documents or sheets over, even as new versions may become available. And then in the last um, Bridge Technical Talk video, we talked about the ability to push files, individual files that we have in a project um, over into a different um, projects that's been set up on the Construction Cloud Unified platform. And now today we're going to talk about how that particular feature, the ability to copy files, has been enhanced even more. And they've actually incorporated a level of automation around the ability to copy files from one Construction Cloud project into another. And, you know, the question that I've had asked on many different occasions that I feel like this is really going to help to, to meet the need of is I get questions all the time from clients to say, hey, Kyle, you know, we're being invited into this project and, and we're contributing to this project. We're, we're storing our design data there, um, possibly hosting our Revit models for the design team. Um, but we're, we're in, you know, we're including and we're, we're uploading all of this information into a cloud project that we're not the owners of. And ultimately, you know, how, how can we maintain um, access to that data that our team contributes to a project, even if it's a project that we're not hosting on our site. And I think we're going to talk about how today we're going to talk about how Bridge can really help that to become more of an automated process, because in the past it's been a very manual process. OK, and so the way that this is going to happen now is we have the ability to share, but rather than sharing an individual file that may have been uploaded into a project, we're actually going to be sharing from a folder level. And we're going to share <clears throat> a folder into a target project that we've set up. And let's say for our example here that, that this project here, the ACCKL new R22, this is our cross team project. This is our project where we have the different design teams working on. We're also going to have the GCs and subs working out of this project, but we're an architect of record and we want to make sure that we have access to all of the um, all of the different design files that we're working on and those that are being published from the other design teams to share with us. And, and also we want to have copies of all of the different sheet sets that are being shared across the project here. So we're going to talk about how we can get that set up real quick. OK, and so what we would do here is we would just select our folder. Now, at this point, we don't have anything in the architectural folder, but I will um, show you an example where we will go ahead and host our architectural design file uh, using BIM Collaborate Pro into this project. But as you can see right here, we already have the mechanical and the structural models, Revit models that have been cloud hosted. We can tell that this is a, the first time they've been uploaded because it landed on version two. Anyone that's used BIM Collaborate Pro for any time does know that when you get to version number two, you know you've hosted the right way from inside of Revit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the, uh, the bridge set up in place for the architectural folder as well as the mechanical and structural folder before we do that for our sheet sets folder here. So all we do is we click on our folder in question and we hit that three dot more menu and we go to our share button here. And then we're going to tell it we want to share with another project. OK, and then I also want to make sure that I 
check mark this box here. So it's going to automatically sync updates to our target project. Now, keep in mind the reason that I'm sharing from the architectural folder and not from the top level design files folder it says it right here. This is not going to include selected individual files or most importantly, any subfolders. OK, so we have to share from the selected parent folder here. So now I'm going to select my project, and in this case, it's just called ACC Bridge Test. And then we're going to select the folder that we want this to go into. And in this case, we want this to go into the Design Files folder. What it's going to do is it's automatically going to create a subfolder within there that's called ARC. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select that. And then we're going to hit Share. It tells us that there are no files in that particular folder at the moment. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get that bridge established for the mechanical and structural folders as well as for the sheet set folders. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing, exact same process. We want to share with another project. We want it to automatically sync updates. And we're going to tell it that we want this to go into the ACC bridge test. And then we're going to select our design files again. And then say share. You can see that there's already one file in that folder that should get copied over. So we've got that in place. And then we'll do the same thing for structural. Repetition is the key when it comes to learning a new skill. And so we're making sure you get plenty of repetition here. Exact same process we just went through here, team. All right. And we're going to go into our design files and select that there and we can see there's one file in structural so we're going to go ahead and hit share okay so now one thing to keep in mind is if i go in and select any of these other folders specifically those that already have files in them we can see that it's telling us that these files will automatically be synced and updated to the acc bridge test project here okay so now let me double check one thing over here all right, so in all reality, I really don't want this sheet sets folder. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that from here because I'm going to just put our sheet sets under project files and it'll create the sheet sets folder for us. The same way that you can see here on our target project, it has automatically created our architectural, our mechanical, and our structural folders. And those different files are in the process of syncing over. The mechanical is just not quite showing up there yet. It will in just a few moments though, so, okay? But you can see our structural is already showing up there and we don't have an architectural one in there just yet. So let's go ahead and get that share set up for our sheet sets. For the project, sync those updates automatically. All right. And we're just going to have this dropped right into the project beneath the project files area and hit share. OK, great. So now let's go ahead and let's start off by getting our architectural model hosted from inside of Revit so that it's starting to populate and show up right here. OK, so we're going to jump right into Revit. I already have my architectural model open and ready to go. So I'm going to go to the collaborate tab and the collaborate button here. All right, so I just need to tell it that I want it to go into my ACC KL new R22 project. So we'll give it just one second here. Now I can select the appropriate account and project KL new R22. And we're going into design files and into our architectural folder here. We're going to hit save. So now it's going to start cloud work sharing, create the default work sets, and save the model to the cloud. Um, we'll let that go ahead and get finished up here. Probably won't take but just a few seconds, but then we'll actually start to see uh, this particular model showing up inside of the web interface for our project. And the bridge automation should automatically kick in and start to copy that uh, architectural Revit model over into the bridge test project that we've got there as well. OK, so we'll let that get wrapped up here. Should just about be done. Looks like it is down there in the lower left hand corner. 
and we're in good shape. So now this is a cloud hosted Revit model at this point. We can go ahead and minimize that screen there. As we can see, architecture is already showing up. It will actually upgrade to version number two in just one second. It comes in as version one, but then it'll automatically start to go to version number two because it was cloud hosted. All right, and then also I wanted to call out, we have our sheet sets. We already had the mechanical sheet set and a structural sheet set that was in the sheet sets folder here. And here is our target project. I'm gonna refresh this so that we should be able to see the sheet sets folder here. Here are the mechanical and structural sheet sets. We can see our structural Revit model, mechanical Revit model, and now it is publishing out the architectural Revit model. Keep in mind that these are just copies that are being made, or basically being pulled over from the original project file. So these are not cloud hosted, okay? This is just a record of the versions of your models there, okay? So one other thing that I wanted to demonstrate, we've talked about that, we see it happening with a Revit file. I also wanna grab an architectural sheet set and put into our sheet sets folder here. So we can drag and drop that in here. It'll go ahead and start to upload that. And then just as we've seen with the Revit models, we'll also begin to see this new architectural sheet set, 100% CD sheet set file automatically copy over into our target project as well once that gets done uploading here. So let's jump back over to the architectural folder that is still finalizing the publishing of version number two there. And we can see that it is completing the publishing over here in our target project as well. Again, structural and mechanical have already completed. And we can see that it's already in the process of copying over that 100% CD set. Okay, so team, um, as we've demonstrated in the video today and as we've taken a look at, you know, that bridge feature and that bridge functionality, I feel like it's going to be massively important and, and tremendously helpful for teams to not only continue contributing to the project that they may have been invited into from an outside project partner like an architect or possibly a, a general contractor, but again, having that ability to continue to retain your your pertinent information for that project and copy that back over into a pro into a project that you create on your own ACC unified project site here so that again no matter what you continue to retain that information in perpetuity there so thanks so much for joining us on today's technical talk video if you have any questions about bridge or any of the functionality within the Autodesk construction cloud in any of those modules they're in, please feel free to reach out to your dedicated account executive or customer success representative, and we can definitely get a call set up. Thanks so much and have a great day. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.